Hi guys, this is the third in the series of videos that I've done that can help you transform your life that you can start doing today that you can put into your practice. The first one that I did was dealing with negative emotions and how they encompass different areas of your life. Um, the second one was forgiveness, forgiveness of others and forgiveness of yourself. And the third one that I'm going to talk about, um, third way to really transform your life is meditation. And I know what, the, what you're thinking. You're thinking, I have too much to do. I don't have time to sit and be zen. I don't, I can't do this. I get it. I get it. I get it. I was there. Um, when I was first recommended to meditate, I couldn't really get a grasp of it. I would sit down and I would sit there and I would like think about, oh, I have to do the dishes. Oh, I have laundry. Oh, I have to take my kid to this orthodontist appointment at four o'clock. And I couldn't quiet the mind. Um, and it, it, it's, you got to take baby steps, okay? Um, it's, it's hard to just get zen in ten. Um, but some people can do it. You got to take baby steps and you got to be realistic and be kind and be easy with yourself. It's not all going to come at once. I think today in our society, we are so used to being an instant gratification type of world. You know, you, you want something and someone will email it to you instantly. And, you know, you, you want something and you go on Google and you'll find it instantly to get information about it. So I think starting a meditation practice, people want instant Zen. I, I had a friend of mine, um, dear friend of mine, she said, I'm really willing and open now to try meditation. And I said, great, I'll email you some, you know, meditations that you can do. And I emailed her a few and she was like, oh, I don't have that kind of time. Well, they were only 20 minutes, these meditations that I emailed to her. She was like, I was hoping for like five. Okay, well, that's a good jumping off point because I would never discourage her but you're never going to get the amazing downloads and, and, you know, maybe some of the spiritual masters that have been doing it their whole entire existence can get it in five minutes. But there's very few of us that can get to Zen in 10, 10 minutes. <laughs> it takes a little longer and it takes a lot of practice. Um, I didn't really realize when I first started, I didn't know anything about chakras or what any of them were. I didn't even necessarily believe in it. But someone did give me a pamphlet about all the scientifically proven medical health benefits. And I do know, you know, that it lowers depression, anxiety. Um, it's great for blood pressure. It's great for stress, anxiety, all, all these beautiful medical. It's good for the heart. It's good for the lungs. It's good for the liver, all the circulatory bloodstream issues. Um, so there are huge medical proven benefits to meditating. So when I first started, I, I will be honest, it was hard. I did not get it. And I am completely a hyper thinker mind. So I could not quiet my mind. It took practice. Um, a beautiful statement that I once heard, I think it was on Facebook or something. I don't even know who said it. So I'm sorry, I can't give credit to who deserves it. But um, I once read on Facebook that when you pray, you talk to God. When you meditate, God talks to you. And I thought, now that I have achieved a good meditation practice, I so understand that. But it's been about a good year, year and a half of me continually, habitually meditating. I try and meditate at least 20 minutes a day, but I try and do it two times a day morning and then night. Although some people say you're supposed to do it in like the afternoon, like the Maharaja. Anyway, um, but I didn't start out that way. I couldn't do it. I didn't have the time. I didn't have the whereabouts. I didn't have the mind control. So I recommend take a baby step, take, take five minutes and just put on some quiet music and sit. If you're prone to falling asleep, don't do it in your bed. Don't lie down. Don't do it. Sit in a nice comfortable chair so you're not going to fall asleep sit up straight, whatever. I don't know any, I, I mean, some people will say, oh, you have to hold this crystal and you have to say this mantra and you have to change. I think whatever you do, just be kind to yourself. You're starting, be happy, 
don't over analyze it. Don't be overly critical to yourself. Um, what I started was with a bunch of um, self-guided meditations a lot of times. Um, uh, Wayne Dyer, Dr. Dyer, has some beautiful self-guided meditations. Um, so that they're huge. Um, I love his AH meditation and his I AM meditation. And he kind of, the AH one, he guides you through, and it's a lot of breathing exercises and inhaling and ex exhaling, and you say the word AH. Um, and then the other one is kind of more, he gives you instructions on how to meditate, and then you he plays this amazing, beautiful, transformational music. Um, Oprah and Deepak, Deepak um, they always have these little, like every other, every few months, every other month, every two months, they have these series of meditations, which are beautiful. Oprah little, does a little chit chat, and then Deepak does a little chit chat, and then he gives you a mantra, and you say it over and over and over again. Now, you're saying, what's a mantra? Mantra is just something that people say to keep the mind quiet, to keep the mind centered, to keep the mind focused. Because when you're just starting to meditate, it's really hard to just put on quiet music and not have the mind wander, to think about the dishes, to think about the doctor's appointments, to think about that project at work. You don't want to think about that. This is your time to quiet the mind. So a mantra is something that they say over and over and over again. Um, and and it, it could be any mantra. It could be, you know, I am the light. I love God, like whatever your mantra is, but Deepak gives you his own and um, they're beautiful mantras and you just say it and then sometimes you don't, you don't have to say it out loud, you can just say it in your mind and sometimes you don't have to say it at all, but when you feel yourself thinking about that project at work, you need to come back and then start saying the mantra again. It helps you refocus and recenter and reground yourself and connect to your inner divine source. And you won't get Zen. You won't get any amazing feeling the first time you do it. So if you think that you're going to get enlightenment the first time, I mean, it could happen. I'm not going to say it's not going to happen because I don't like to be a negative Nelly. But don't be hard on yourself if it doesn't because most people don't. It's a meditation practice that you are starting. But I promise you, once you keep meditating and keep meditating and keep meditating and you get to that quiet place, that place of knowing that place of peace, you will hear some very profound insights. You will get inspiration. You will get love. You will get inner peace, which I didn't understand what inner peace was. I was like, what is this inner peace that everybody's talking about? I get it now. I get it. I get it. So anyway, my point in this whole video is to try and there's no wrong way to do it. You, you don't have to sit cross-legged. You, you, know, you, know, you don't have to sit with crystals. You don't have to sit an ohm. You don't have to... You know, just do what feels right for you. Don't be overcritical. I've had so many people who know that I meditate ask me, well, how do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? And my answer is, do what feels natural. Go on YouTube. Look up a video. You know, but there's no right or wrong. I, I, I just... Be quiet, quiet the mind is the key. That's the only thing you really need to understand. Quiet the mind, say your own mantra. I, you know, I welcome God into my life. 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 Put on some soft music, you know? And once you get a good meditation practice, you can get Zen in five or 10 minutes. There's, uh, there's plenty of people I know that they'll get stressed at work and they're like, okay, I'm going to take 10 and they'll go into a conference room and they'll close the door and they'll take 10 minutes. And what they're doing in there is they're meditating all these great thinkers and mindsets. Um, you know, I think in the secret, it said what, um, or maybe it was Napoleon Hill's, uh, book. He talks about how like Benjamin Franklin had a thinking room and he would go in there and when he would get stressed and he would meditate for, you know, 10 minutes and he would come out with these huge epiphanies of these breakthrough ideas that would change the world. So, like I said, the, the saying goes, when you pray, you are talking to God. When you meditate, God is talking to you. When you are opening up that channel to get insight, you will receive insight. You will receive love. You will receive inner peace. So if you have any questions about meditating, please leave them in the comment. I would love to hear about some of your experiences about meditating. And if anything about this video resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.